New now here at 5:30, a new homeless encampment in Somerville is causing some problems. I'm David Wade. Chris is off tonight, and I'm Paula Evan. Now that camp is underneath 93, but as WBZ's Christina Hager shows us, the problems are spilling over to the apartment building next door. With cars whizzing in front of them, behind them, and overhead, this is the home some have created, sandwiched under the Interstate 93 in Somerville. And I just had a package opened and stolen. Across from the expressway encampment, some who live in the luxury condominiums at 60 Cross Street describe the chaos spreading over. A resident shared this photo describing constant 911 calls, people sleeping in the condo vestibule. Entered in, fell asleep, peed in the building, and stole packages. Somebody intoxicated, I think, laying there, and an ambulance came, and then the I saw the person try to, to get away. Well, you see the police out there in the fire department as well as uh, ambulance, too. Those resources being called, and most of the time it's for people that are passed out on the side of the road. A spokesperson for the city of Somerville says community outreach workers have had some success moving people from this spot to warming centers. But you can see the encampment is still here. And to complicate matters, that's a state highway, that property controlled by the Department of Transportation. I think right now the focus really has to be on offering these residents a better place. State Representative Mike Connolly says it's time for officials to turn up the urgency. There are some serious concerns. You know, there have been reports of sexual activity, there's been reports of other sort of, you know, weapons and, and open flames. Some say it's gotten worse since so many were displaced from Boston's infamous tent city, left to find new places. Neighbors say huddling under the highway can't be an option. In Somerville, Christina Hager, WBZ News. Now, we just heard back from Mass Dot on this. A spokesperson telling WBZ officials met with the city and, quote, a decision was made to leave the encampment in place during the winter months. The encampment will be moved in the spring for scheduled maintenance. That's their quote.